Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan Sausen 3 here. And as you can see, I'm here with the Spongebob Squarepants Hooray for Dad's book. And I actually got this book back in summer 2019. And um, I'm thinking of re-reviewing some of my old Spongebob books because um, my old reviews that I did on them were not the best. So I think that's going to be very, very super fun to do. Alright, so again, I got this book back in summer 2019, so it's a lot older than most of my books in my collection. Alright, so as you can see on the front cover, there is adorable little Spongebob. And there is his father, Harold Squarepants. And then there is Plankton with his dad. I forgot what his name is, honestly. But yeah, and then there are some nice pretty balloons in the background here and some nice bubbles as well. And it says hooray for dads right here. I really, really love the cover of this book. And it has over 30 stickers inside, which I absolutely adore. I just love stickers so much. And here is the spine really quick. It's nothing too special. And here is the back. It basically looks just like the front cover, but it doesn't say hooray for dads. It just has all of this stuff right here. And back in 2019, I got this book off of, uh, I believe, Barnes & Noble. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I got that book from. Anyway, let's have a quick look at it. So here are the stickers, well, at least some of them. They're actually very, very nice stickers. I really love them. So there is Spongebob and his dad. There's Patrick and his dad. Squidward and his dad, obviously. Um... <clears throat> Plankton and his dad, Sandy and her dad, and, um, yeah, very, very nice. I really love the colors right here, too. Really pretty, actually. Alright. <clears throat> and then here is a picture of Spongebob and Harold giving each other a high five. Hooray for dads. And this book was made by Erica Pass and illustrated by the Artifact Group. And originally this book was made by Simon Spotlight, but it was remade by Random House. And this book was made in 2014, well, re-released in 2014. Okay, so Spongebob wakes up in a very happy, cheerful mood. And it's actually the annual, like today's the annual Dad and Kid Games Day at Muscle Beach. And Spongebob is very excited to go because his dad is coming. So, as soon as Spongebob arrives at the beach, like, you, like he sees everyone is already there as well. And they're all very excited for the dads to come. But Mr. Krabs is already a dad to Pearl, so technically one dad's already there. So, um, yep, and everyone but Squidward are all very excited, obviously not Squidward, so... Yep. <clears throat> but there's actually going to be a grand prize. And everyone's like thinking about what is the grand prize. Like Plankton thinks it's going to be the secret formula. And like a car or something. And Patrick thinks that it's going to be pizza. Mr. Krabs thinks it's going to be a lot of money. Squidward thinks it's a paradise vacation. And Sandy thinks it's an airplane, but Spongebob doesn't care about the prize because he's just excited to be with his dad. <clears throat> so, um, Spongebob's just excited to be with his dad, so he doesn't care about the prize. And then, a bus comes with all of the other fathers inside. And... Now all of the dads are saying hello to their kids and stuff, and it's so cute. So there's Spongebob and his dad, and then there's Sandy and her dad, there's um, Mr. Krabs with Pearl, despite both of them already being there at the same time. There is Squidward with his father, but they don't look very excited to see each other. And then there's Plankton and his dad. <laughs> I love how, how, um, Mr. Krabs' dad, wait, no, shoot, sorry, I love how Plankton's father is so much more excited than Plankton, you know? That's really funny to me. And then there's Patrick with his dad. Alright. And now 
it is officially time for the games to start, but I would say first, Kip Kelp, the host of the event, um, tells everyone that it's going to be a fun, great day filled with teamwork and sportsmanship, and everyone, obviously, but, um, Jeff and Schoolward, well, Jeff is Schoolward's dad, uh, they're not very excited, but, um, yep. <laughs> But if they're so, ex but they're so, but if they're not excited, then why the heck did they even participate? That's my only question. But anyway, so now it is time for the games to start. So there's a really a race which Sandy and her father win. And um, SpongeBob says that there are more important things than winning, but Squidward disagrees, obviously, because you know Squidward's not the nicest. And um. Now it is time for a bubble blowing competition, which, um, Mr. Krabs says that Pearl is an expert bubble blower, and Spongebob and his dad blow beautiful bubbles, they don't care how many there are, but as you can see, Spongebob blows like a, a boat bubble, and Harold Squarepants blows like an anchor bubble, that's actually really nice, look how pretty those are, I love bubbles a lot, and now time for the, like, Sandcastle one, the Sandcastle game thing, which I have a feeling Sandy and her father probably won that, but as you can see, um, Squidward Sandcastle gets, like, damaged, and, um, well, actually, no, it comes crashing down, and, um, it looks like Squidward fell in, <laughs> his dad looked very concerned for him, but yeah, Sandy said that that prize is going to be hers, and, um, <clears throat> and then, uh, excuse me, but yeah, so now it's time for a jellyfish roundup, and Spongebob says, jellyfish love me, and I love them, and then Spongebob and his dad had gathered the most jellyfish, and Spongebob now thinks that he's going to be the one to win the prize, and Squidward says that, um, you know, it might be something Spongebob's been wanting for a very long time, and, um, Spongebob thinks that it's going to be a gold-plated spatula, which is something that he's been wanting for a long time. Mm -hmm. But, um, Mr. Squarepants reminds his son that it's not about winning, it's just about, you know, having fun together. But Spongebob, all he cares about now is the spatula. So, yeah. Great job, Squidward. Anyway, now it's time for the badminton tournament 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 blah, blah, blah. so um spongebob and his dad well actually spongebob like huffs and puffs and like trips in the sand and um yeah he um i don't think he's doing very well because he's like going so fast um but yeah mr squarepants looks like he's getting slightly annoyed with his son because like you know spongebob forgets about the most important thing about this day so, yep. And now all of the games are officially finished. And the winner of the Dad and Kid Games Day for this year are actually Plankton and his dad. So, yeah, and Spon- wait, no, not Spongebob, sorry. And P Patrick and his dad just woke up from a nap. So, they look really well rested. Rested there. They look really well rested. Sorry, that's a tongue tie. But, um, yeah, so Plankton and his father win the thing. And Plankton asks if the prize is the Krabby Patty secret recipe, but it's actually a plaque that will be placed in a new rock and coral garden in the center of town. And, um, it's not hard to see that Plankton is definitely very, very disappointed. But, um, oh yeah, I remember his name now, Gordon, okay, but Gordon looks very excited. Plankton's dad, whatever. But, um, Spongebob realizes, like, hearing Plankton's words about, like, you know, run running around in circles all day long for this, um, Spongebob apologizes to his dad because he lost sight of what it means to be able to spend time with his father, and, um, <clears throat> and Harold forgives him, and they and the father and son give each other a hug, and that is literally so sweet. Oh my gosh! And I love the fact that Harold says, 
that we all that we all want to win sometimes, but he had a great time just being with his son and SpongeBob hugs him and he says, Yeah, me too, Dad. That is just so sweet. I mean seriously though, that picture just makes me tear up. It's so sweet. Alright. And <clears throat> Mr. Krabs says that um everyone is welcome to come to the Krusty Krab and Patrick says for free Krabby Patties, or he asks for free Krabby Patties, and Mr. Krabs says never, but they can help themselves to as many napkins as they want, and Spongebob is really happy, and he says that, and he tells his dad who needs to go play his bachelor when he has him, which is really super sweet, and that's actually pretty much all for the story, and then here are the rest of the stickers right here, very, very nice stickers, I really love them a lot. And then here is an advertisement for some other books and stuff. Alright, and that's actually pretty much all for SpongeBob SquarePants Hooray for Dads. Um, I actually really enjoyed reviewing this book. I really love it. Um, my favorite part is the fact that SpongeBob learns a lesson that, um, you know, being in a competition doesn't mean you have to win. Like, the most important thing is like you know spending time with the people that you love of course like you know for example your your dad or your, your mom or like your brother or your sister or your best friend i mean like literally like just being with the person you love that's like the most important thing so like yeah that's a really good life lesson in my opinion all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video so goodbye everybody have a great day and peace out.